Hello everyone, in this series we will practice top 50 array programs in Java and today we will write our 6th array program. In today's program we will learn how to find the second smallest element in an array in Java. Finding the second smallest element is a very common interview question on any Java interview. So at the end of this video I will discuss all types of interview questions on this particular topic. So without any further delay now let us go to the coding screen. We will write our code in a class called find second smallest element. Let us do it. Now we will write the main method. So in today's program, we are going to take the input from the user that how many want, uh, numbers he or she wants to enter. Earlier, we used to initialize in the array that how many numbers uh, are to be taken. But now the user will tell us how many numbers he or she wants to take the input. Okay, so now we will declare our scanner class and then we will ask from the user. Now we have a variable number of input in which we have stored the user input and then we have an integer array in which uh, like in which we have defined the size as the input that we are giving. Okay. Now we are going to write a for loop. Okay. For taking the input. Now for each time the for loop is iterating, it will uh, ask for a new input and whatever input we are giving it will go and directly be stored in the uh, array. Okay. Now we have an integer min to which we have set the max value. Now we have an integer second min to which we have set the max value again so both of them are having the same values okay so our java integer class has already defined the max value and min value so over here we have used the max value okay now we are going to write a for loop to find the smallest and second smallest elements okay Now we have a for loop over here and uh, we are going to run from 0. We are going to run i from 0 to less than array dot length. Okay. Now uh, upon each iteration it will take a value. I will take a value. So uh, upon its current value we will check first if it is less than min or not. If it is less than the value of min or not. If it is less than min then we are going to assign its value to second min. And what will be uh, what we'll do with min's value? We are going to 
uh, assign the current value of the array to min this is what is going on okay now uh, if the above condition does not satisfy we have written a else if for that that is if the current value is less than second min okay if the current value is less than second min and um, if it is also not equal to min okay both conditions need to be satisfied to assign the current value of the array to second min if the condition is true we are going to assign the array's current value to second min hope you have understood and listen you must try and debug this code because if you yourself don't try uh, you are not going to understand it properly okay now we are going to print our second smallest element let us write the code Now in this if condition, we will check if second min is uh, not equal to integer dot max value. Okay, then we are going to print the second smallest element in the array is second min. Otherwise, uh, imagine a situation where we have uh, given inputs, everything is 10. Okay, at that point of time, what are we going to do? We are going to print there is no second smallest element in the array. Right. So both of these conditions need to be checked. Um, uh, when we will run our code, we are going to check both of these conditions for better understanding. Okay, let us run the code now. Now we are going to enter how many numbers we want to enter. Okay, let us give 5. Okay, now uh, array element for index 0, we will give 10. Next is we will give 20, 30, 40, 50. Done. The second smallest element in the array element in the array is 20 okay so correct answer now we'll check for our uh, second condition okay so how many numbers uh, five okay now we will enter 10 in every case okay see there is no second smallest element in the array how will we have second smallest element right so over here we have ten, uh, tested both the if and else condition right now you must have understood the reason behind writing those okay now we have ended with our code let us discuss the interview question right now okay first interview question can be this one that is given an array of integers how do you find the second smallest element in java so in our code that we have done okay over there we have taken the input from the user but over here it is already given that array of integers is there how do you find the second smallest so i think you can uh, answer this if you frame it in a proper way so our next question is describe an algorithm to identify the second smallest element within a java array okay and for this question i have already made a video okay second largest element you can find it in our array program playlist so and it will it will be also there in the description box so you can check it from there and uh, it is kind of similar to this one so if you follow that particular video you will be easily able to do this one too so next question explain the steps or logic to locate the second smallest value in a java array so we have done it over here also so you can frame your own answer and say it accordingly okay next question how would you approach finding the second smallest element in a java array without sorting the entire array okay so the program that we have written we have taken the inputs and in our program we have kept it in a shuffled manner only we have not in, uh, like used the sorting logic if we would have used, uh, used the sorting logic, then the second element of the array would be our second largest, I mean second smallest element. But over here we have, we have not sorted anything. The uh, inputs were kept in a shuffled manner itself. Okay, so uh, for this uh, question's answer, you can refer to the, the, uh, the program that we have written. Okay, next question. What are the different ways to find the second smallest element in an array in Java? 
so the answer will be same we can do it either by sorting the uh, array you know and also we can do it in a shuffled manner okay both the ways are applicable so this is how we end our today's video uh, please make sure to practice this program debug it and follow our interview questions okay these are extremely important to do in the in our next video we will come with our seventh program in our array pro, array playlist and uh, till this is shinjini signing off till then keep learning keep practicing keep exploring bye